All right, so this is going to be an updated walk around video of my DIY truck camper build. After the walk around, I'm going to give a full detailed breakdown of all aspects of the camper. So what you're looking at is my DIY all aluminum truck bed camper that I built in my garage in one week. I'm without a doubt thrilled with the outcome and beyond happy with how this camper turned out. I have slept in it nine nights so far, and the camper has already been through four states and over 4,000 miles. My goals for the camper build were as follows. I wanted something that was DIY friendly that I could build in my garage. Something that was hard walled with no pop top. Insulated for four season camping, comfortable to sleep two people and a dog, and most importantly, budget friendly. I took a lot of inspiration from the market, but I really didn't want to pay the high price tag for something similar. I also wanted to have fun building it, to enjoy the experience. I'm an engineer who has a passion for 3D modeling, tinkering on vehicles, and building things with my hands. I spent several weeks going through design iterations until I finally landed on this design you see here. The structure is all aluminum square tubing that is riveted together using angle brackets. I had aluminum sheet laser cut into my exact design and this is what I riveted onto the subframe. In order to do this, I used Sikaflex 221 and aluminum rivets. Sikaflex 221 is a marine grade adhesive and it is perfect for this application as it stays permanently flexible so it does not get rigid. The end result of all of this is a very tight, strong camper. When you bind the outer sheet metal to the inner frame, the structure becomes very stout. I have no concerns with strength of the build and having it last over time. There are a few important things to note that I did to plan ahead and make this process seamless. First off, I had two companies help me with the outsourcing. I had a steel supplier, which is where I bought all of the aluminum tubing cut all of the pieces to my 103 piece cut list. This made it a much simpler process for me and much more DIY friendly. I then had a supplier laser cut all of the aluminum sheet metal for me based off of DXF files I sent them. This was a game changer and really allowed for this build to be DIY friendly in my garage. The last important thing about this build is that there is zero welding. The whole entire camper is constructed using adhesive and rivets. Once I had all of the raw materials in, it was time to get after it with the build. I worked very hard for a week straight to assemble and build this camper in the garage. I drilled and installed over 1200 rivets to make the framework and all panels to secure them to the frame. Having the rivet holes pre-cut into the panels was a great method. This ensured my rivet spacing and layout was pristine without having to hand measure during assembly. Once the building was complete, it was time to load the camper onto the truck. Myself and three other guys were able to pick up the camper and set it on the truck bed rails. I then used heavy duty through bolts and fender washers to secure the camper to the truck bed. Once I had the camper on the truck, it was time to hit the road. I had a very big road trip from California to Texas. While in Texas, I was able to coat the camper using Flex Seal. I used some of the leftover Sikaflex 221 as well as 3M seam sealer to fill all the cracks and gaps before applying the Flex Seal. I am pretty happy with the outcome. The coating is not perfect, but it has held up decent so far. One aspect of the build that I love is the flooring. I used 2x2 lumber, foam insulation, foil tape, and plywood to construct it. It is a nice rigid floor that also supports the rear wall of the camper. I used the Craig pocket hole jig to help build this floor, and I would highly recommend this Craig jig. The real MVP of the build was this DeWalt rivet tool. It made very easy work of installing all 1200 plus rivets. Here are a few photos of the insulation I have started to install in the walls 
in the current two-person bed setup. It is a very spacious and comfortable sleeping arrangement, especially with the roof vent fan running. Having a window open and the vent fan on makes for a really nice cross breeze. Here are some more of the products I sourced from eBay and Amazon to build this camper. All right, so let's talk cost. I was able to build this whole camper, including all of the materials, windows, door, vent fan, and all of the random supplies for $3,500. This also includes the labor for the two metal suppliers that I worked with. I am honestly very happy with this price as there are several similar campers on the market for four, five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. They get a little bit out of hand. Keep in mind that this build fits my own dimensions and my own needs. It is not a cookie cutter shell that you can get off the shelf. I am also very pleased with the weight of the camper. I have a calculated weight of 275 to 300 pounds. Now this does not include the interior wood build out. However, this is all metal and the whole camper in itself. Overall, I am very pleased with this build. I enjoyed the whole design process, learning more skills in Fusion 360. I enjoyed the build process as I learned a lot of new fabrication skills and just getting to enjoy the finished product has been a blast. I can't express how nice it is to sleep in an all enclosed camper knowing that I built it with my own two hands. I can't wait to keep building the interior out. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'd be happy to answer. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Cheers.